Have you ever thought how awesome it would be if we could know exactly what was going through Sirachi's head when writing the arcs? Look no further! That's why I'm here. Benny's Akura arc. It was even made into a movie, so it's a popular arc right now, but when it was still coming out, the ratings were low because it was so long, so I was eager to end it as soon as possible. Host arc. I wanted to draw something bewitching and scandalous, typical for Gabuki Cho, but the aftertaste would have sucked so at some point it became just a cluster flip of Yakuza hosts and Gyorozuya. In the end it was simply a story about a mom. Yagyu arc. Usually long Gintama arcs become long little by little, but the Yagyu arc was an exception. It was a well thought out, carried out long arc, which when I first tried to make those fellows who hate each other cooperate. Mitsuba arc. I drew it thinking that it was finally time to explain Okita's animosity to Oichiji Kata, but he became much more complicated than I thought and I started getting worried that the readers would lose interest. To this day I still wonder if it would have been better to make Mitsuba and Hiji Kata exchange at least a couple words at the end. Fuyo arc. Drew it only because of seeing iRobots. Monkey Hunter arc. Drew it only because of being into Monster Hunter at the time. Shinsengumi Crisis Arc Since the real Shinsengumi was constantly troubled by internal conflicts, I thought it was time to give this Shinsengumi one too. Ryugujo Arc I wanted to make something like Crayon Shinchan, something to resemble stuff kids watching their summer vacation. The jokes are for adults though. Yoshiwara in Flames Arc the initial plan was to use Yoshiwara to tell a heartwarming story about human relationships, but since I ended up introducing Kagura's brother, I had to prolong it from the three chapters I wanted at first, and in conclusion it became another long arc. But you must admit that it doesn't happen in manga that often, having such large amounts of people trying to take down a mere old man. Popularity Poll Arc It might sound rude to the people that participate in the ranking, but I drew this thinking about how the characters themselves wouldn't have been too happy with these kind of polls. On Miyoji arc, I've always loved ghost stories so I forcefully tried to fit Gintama into the set context. I did some proper research before drawing it though. For Davis arc, I wanted to get to the leaders of Kabukicho when the readers sent me questions like why are they acting so weird upon seeing the Yakuza greeting scenes I felt a tremendous generation gap that is going on. Two years later arc, I used the fact that I was given a break in the manga and made it into a two years break for the case. Turning everything back to normal was such a pain. Glasses Arc The theme of Hitsatsu Shiokinen got stuck in my head so I was drawing the chapters listening to its soundtrack. Scandal Arc It was right when the youth protection law passed so I thought that putting Gin sound in such a situation would be interesting. I was drawing it thinking that it would be still delightful even if it gets shut down because of the set map. Renho Arc at first, it wasn't supposed to be that long, I just wanted to give Elizabeth a proper backstory and be over with it, but eventually, I got carried by the flow and it transformed into what it is. Thorny Arc I had the idea of the Mimimori Gumi from way before, but this arc concentrated on Hijikata and his being as a living thorny kid, Kintama Arc. During the Scandal Arc, as I was thinking of a possibility of Kintama violating a law and therefore getting shut down. I wonder what, what, what would I do if I had to put a sudden end to it. I thought that I'd start something of the opposite extreme, like shoujo manga, and started doodling it. On the last page, I tore off the mask and started drawing Ginsan and Co, brazenly transforming the thing in Gintama, but with a different title. I thought it would be interesting to execute afterwards. Courtesan of a Nation Arc It was quite difficult to express the relations going on in this arc in one setting, but to put it simply, it's a Tendoshu controlling the Bakufu versus the Hitotsubashi, unit who wants to take it down. The Shogun who stays off of Tendoshu, also Tendoshu vs. Itotsubashi vs. Shogun, and the way these three factions oppose each other. Beam Saber Arc I started thinking that it was time to get back to Shinpachi's dream and get it moving a little. I ended it with a gag where Shinpachi is actually still training the homeless on his days off. Kagura's Boyfriend Arc The reaction for Tama's Miyai was so good so I thought making something similar for Kagura too. Genderbender arc. Be it because it's banal or overused, it's already been 10 years, so I wait to try my hand on it. I want to try everything curious before this manga ends. Idol arc. I may be speaking badly about idols a lot, but I give you respect to professionals. I thought I should express what I think about them as a whole. Shinigami arc. 
something important, something that needed to happen for future reference. That's all Sirachi wrote. Hopefully he will do another one when the series ends. We are the Yorozuya!